Hi, welcome to another video. So today I've got a Mackie SRM 450 version 1. Now for those of you who've not seen the version 1, the distinct difference is this huge troidal transformer. Version 2 has a switch mode power supply. The output is also class D. This one's class B amp. Proper transistors, proper transformer, uh, decent power supply. So these version 1's are reported to always sound better than the version 2. So this one, taken off a plate here, testing some of the transistors, thought I'd do a video. The, the input stage is similar to the version 2. All these op amps doing the bass and treble and cut off that sort of stuff. So this one, the thermal light is staying on. So that thermal light doesn't necessarily mean it's getting hot, it means there's a fault. So if I show you before I strip it down, so there's a temperature sensor here for these big transistors. If I show you, you've got, without getting the circuit drawing or data sheet, all NPN transistors or even PMP, they'll have a base collector and emitter. If this is a PMP and I've got the negative on the base, then one will be the collector half a volt drop and one will be the emitter and then collector emitter but you can see there's no short circuit so do that as a rough guide just to put you in the right ballpark then this transistor over here try not to get in the way of the meter just do the same you're looking for half a volt on any junction and this is a dead short on these two first well, it was well, these two were short but now it's not well yeah it was definitely reading a short on these two pins now I've got half a volt so there's something odd going on. Alright, so we've got a right, short circuit there. Whereas earlier it didn't have a short circuit. So that one to this outside pin is open circuit. This one to this pin. Right, you can see there, dead short. I had that here. But now I've got half a volt. That would suggest something's turning on and shorting those pins out. But so unfortunately, with the version one, got to all, undo all these screws, take off the board, unsolder these, and test them individually. I could obviously power it up, but then it's more than you've got 240 volts. Look, an open live fuse there, so it's just not safe to test these. Put your hand on there, electrocute yourself. So I'll undo all these, start taking these out, and that thermal light comes on at, immediately from switch on, so it's obviously not time to warm up, so there's a fault in the output stage or something like that. Right, I've uh, removed this from the heatsink. After chasing my own tail, these components here, this one and this one, they're driven off an 80 volt supply. These are two FETs. Obviously N and P channel FETs, these drive the horn or the low frequency and then these two NPN and PNP drive these two FETs then similarly these off the 45 volt rail these, uh, these transistors drive these transistors which drive these FETs that drives the horn so all these drive the woofer the low frequency and then this sets the trim in the middle set the bias which is done by this pot here which is sealed this side that's a thermistor these are just high power transistors I think this side is PNP so that's minus 45 volt row plus 45 volt row so that's NPN PNP uh, and the same 45 volt row these two transistors drive these two 
and that's the trim in the middle set by this pot. So don't adjust this unless you're going to set the bias for the amp. These two transistors at the end, plus and minus 15 volts. This one's minus 15, that one's plus 15. I took some of these out and tested them. If you're not sure how to test a transistor or FET, it's actually easy to get one of these. I bought this from Farnell years ago, made by Peak Electronics in the UK. Don't test a component in the circuit. If you've got more than five volts of charge in a cap, you'll blow this up. It's actually controlled by one single, I think it's uh, an 8-bit microcontroller. So for those of you who've seen my programming videos, you know microcontrollers run 5.5 volts or less. So any more than 5.5 volts on a pin, you'll destroy it. I think these are about £50 new. I blew mine up because I tested a, a component in the circuit. When it was charged on a component, I sent it back to Peak Electronics. They sent me this key ring and charged me about £25 to repair it, and that was including the shipping. So pcollect.co.uk. Recommend them if uh, you're testing loads of components. It just takes the guesswork out. Test the leakage, that sort of stuff, as well as bias current. And if you're not sure what you're testing, this transistor and FET tester will obviously tell you what the uh, component is and tell you what pin is what. So I was testing these earlier. One minute they're short, next minute they're not. It's because these are FETs. This meter puts out two volts, roughly, on diode test. Two volts was enough to turn these FETs on. And because they're in the circuit, when I take the legs, when I take the leads off, that two or three volts is still being held on the gate, turning the FET on. So I was getting a short circuit between drain and source, which you're meant to have. Obviously, reverse the leads, takes the supply away from the gate, and then the source and drain go open circuit. So, we've had a couple of version 2 Mackies, and I notice when there's a problem with the 15 volt rail, the protect light comes on, the thermal protect, and so I'm assuming this is the same. This, as I said, plus or minus 15 on these two transistors here. There's two 10 ohm resistors. I thought, well, let me check those resistors. And this one, I believe, 10 ohms open circuit. These resistors supply the 15 volts for various circuits, and the plus or minus 15 volts also supply the 15 volt rails for the sort of preamp stage of the amplifier. So, if I just show you, so if I test one of these resistors, low value resistors, you can test in the circuit quite easily. So that's one, 10.5 ohm. That's on the plus 15 volts. And the one next to it, it doesn't visibly look burnt out, but it is, because I've got 1.64 megs. So it's probably just that 10 ohm resistor. Something in the circuit has drawn a small bit too much power, and that resistor's gone open circuit. So I'll change that 10 ohm resistor, it's probably half watt, something like that, and give it a try. Well, on 10 ohm, 4 pence resistor later, that was it. 10 ohm resistor next to the 15 volt regulator. Job done, no more protection light, power light. Uh, I've had music playing, but obviously I can't play copyright protected music on YouTube. I'll run through a holiday video and let some of the sound come out of the speaker. more music comes back in just as these streets of Turkey come into focus 
So hopefully this video has given you a brief insight to Rebecca Mackey 450 version 1. Most people think the version 1 is by far the better speaker than the version 2. Uh, now of course they've got a version 3 which is meant to pack a thousand watts. See how reliable and powerful they are. Anyway, thanks for watching.